ladies and gentlemen and digital investors welcome back to another video where we go over what is going on in the cryptocurrency space as of right now bitcoin is sitting at thirty five thousand nine hundred and sixty nine dollars here on bitstamp but we were just as high as thirty six thousand dollars that's right bitcoin hitting 36k setting another all-time high and you know hearing the words bitcoin has set a new all-time high is something we're going to be hearing uh very very often over the course of the next year so very cool things for bitcoin we also have this coming out from at bitru official they put out this tweet and they say our xrp slash flr iou pair is now live who would have thought our biggest listing of the year would come in the first week so this is an iou of the flr token uh, for those of you guys who may be a little bit confused that flr token is the token that is going to be airdropped to us if you are an xrp holder and you participated in the flare airdrop uh, flr is what you will be given and here on bitru we can see that flr is trading at half of an xrp a little over at 0.5598 of an xrp so as of right now with xrp being 24 cents if you divided that by half and these are just rough numbers obviously but you are as of right now looking at about 12 cents at xrp's current price and what it's what flr versus xrp is going for you're looking at about 12 to 13 cents so that is pretty cool keep in mind it is an iou so you have to keep that in mind with that said guys we're gonna hop into this this american institutional fund just set a 535 thousand dollar price target for bitcoin so this is quite a high target uh, as we get into this if you guys are frequent viewers of the show and you want to show some support then just tap the like button it helps a ton for the youtube algorithm to pick this up and show it to more people so the fund purchased 175 million dollars worth of bitcoin earlier this year it's skybridge capital a new york hedge fund founded in 2005 and they're a recent bitcoin convert the firm purchased over 175 million worth of the asset last month a position it's already up by millions of dollars on and yesterday released its first ever long-term price prediction for bitcoin in a press release it said their newly launched bitcoin fund lp would provide mass affluent investors with an institutional grade vehicle to gain exposure to the asset adding that fund had already invested over 310 million in funds investing in bitcoin in november and december of last year founder and managing partner anthony saramucci stated that bitcoin remained an asset class in its early innings and that the number of institutional quality custody solutions available today created the right time to allocate capital and provide our clients access to the digital asset space almost like a perfect storm right with everything that is going on bitcoin looks like an actual feasible logical investment to these uh institutions the total market cap for gold is 10 trillion versus 500 billion for bitcoin if bitcoin achieves the same market cap of gold the price per bitcoin will be 535,000. their co-chief investment officer wrote with global money printing at an all-time high bitcoin offers a strong alternative to gold as a store of value and hedge against future inflation um one thing that i have uh, been seeing and one thing that i've been trying to tell you guys is that all of this uh is basically the catalyst from the pandemic right the especially the fed's response to the pandemic with the massive money printing it really has been you could say the perfect storm it has been the catalyst uh because everybody seeing the amount of money the fed is printing and how the fed has responded to this situation right with quantitative easing infinity no matter what name they put on it it's still the same thing it's still the same game it, bitcoin is being viewed as a logical investment and people are buying into that right especially in the midst of a pandemic where our feds response to that is to just create more dollars out of thin air the idea of hard money something like bitcoin plus you add into the fact that bitcoin is so much more newer than gold a lot less of a market cap and humans emotions are naturally greedy they're going to want to make a, as much money as they can so people going to bitcoin over gold all of this stuff matters when people are making decisions on this 
And then we have this. There could be 1 million Cardano wallets created in 2021, and that wouldn't be so very hard to believe. So the number of new ADA wallets has skyrocketed in the past month, with an average of 64 wallets created every hour. Using the data, projections have shown that there could be a million more ADA wallets created by the end of 2021, making Cardano one of the fastest growing blockchain networks in terms of user acquisition. Yeah, pretty cool, guys. That could also happen faster if adoption speeds up and happens faster, right? We're in the middle of a bull run. So the numbers that we see now, you know, th those don't necessarily have to remain the same. Those can also increase, right? We could see a million wallets before 2021. If we continue seeing adoption and price rising and the crypto space continues to get a lot of eyeballs on it, like we're seeing right now. Now, I also thought this was weird. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys two things. This is from the SEC News. They say, our division of examinations has issued a risk alert on securities associated with communist Chinese military companies. So I was like, hmm. And then very recently after I saw this, Trump bans Chinese payments apps, including Alipay and WeChat Pay. And these are both released at, you know, roughly around the same time. So it looks like we could start to see a lot of stiffening around China. Um, again, the SEC is calling for Chinese military companies. And then this ban on Chinese payment apps is also just uh, very, very weird, right? And with everything that we're seeing now, as we know, we're in a technological cold war. There's there's no denying it at this point, right? We're in an information war. Um, the U.S. is at great jeopardy at losing its number one spot. So things with China have de are definitely heating up. They have been heating up over the past of, of definitely the past couple of years here. I think the U.S. is realizing it's going to have to respond quick if it wants any chance of winning this. Um, and, and they're definitely going to have to uh, advance very quickly in terms of cryptocurrencies and payments. So it is an interesting situation that we find ourselves in. And we also have this from at VChain official, the first 100 CV19 vaccination records for medical personnel at the Mediterranean Hospital of Cyprus are now securely stored on the VChain public blockchain. With this tech, governments and individuals are assured of the quality and validity of the results. So VChain is being used at the Mediterranean Hospital of Cyprus for their vaccination record keeping. VChain also went over three cents today. So VChain is on an absolute tear. Now I also have this, this was sent to me from at DGuyDangerous on Twitter. So thank you for tagging me in this. This goes over the Italian Banking Association launches experimental digital euro project. Make sure you guys go check out Guy Dangerous on Twitter. Italian Banking Association or ABI has affirmed its support for the implementation of a sovereign European digital currency by beginning pilot studies on a digital euro project. The association is working with its research and development arm, ABI Lab, and commercial banks in the country to develop an experimental digital euro. The digital euro study will focus on two major areas, being technical feasibility analysis and CBDC programmability to create a distinction from existing electronic payment methods. Spokesperson for the ABI said the aim of the initiative is to proactively contribute to public debate and support banks operating in Italy as they prepare for the future. It doesn't aim to anticipate the European Central Bank decision on the adoption of a digital currency, but rather to explore possible use cases and reflect on the implications of possible implementation beforehand so very very cool stuff guys as we know it's it's basically a ticking time bomb before all of these cbdc's are complete all of these nations currencies are complete uh because they've been working on them for i don't know how long it seems like at least once a week we have some country or some bank saying they're making their own uh virtual currency or their own cbdc or something like that now we also have coinbase down experiencing connectivity issues so once again coinbase is down they always go down hopefully you guys have by now diversified your exchanges but if you're new here and you're wondering whether or not you should diversify what exchanges you're on whether or not it's worth making something other than a coinbase account um, it is 100 worth it because coinbase always goes down it has been going down it literally feels like since they uh started up definitely since 2017 they've been going down uh so definitely definitely make sure you're on an exchange other than coinbase because i i don't see any reason why they wouldn't continue to go down hopefully they don't hopefully they turn it around and they can keep their servers up but they just have a bad reputation for going down whether things are moving to the upside or the downside coinbase never seems to stay online your prices for today you have bitcoin at 36,131, xrp at 24 cents litecoin at 165 cardano at 30 cents that is huge for cardano ada is up over 19 percent on the day polka dot four cents away from ten dollars 
Bcash at 444, Stellar at 31 cents. Stellar is also on a rip. Stellar is up 127% on the seven day and up 60% on the 24 hour. A lot of these coins are very, very high. The Theta Network at 215, V Chain just under three cents. It was over three cents. Tezos moving up, up twenty, up six percent on the 24 hour at 254. Synthetics at 11.96. So. Crypto prices for today, despite all of the chaos going on around the world, crypto prices are up. Crypto holders are in the green, despite what is going on. Your Bitcoin fear and greed index for today is sitting at 95. And with that said, guys, that is the video for today. I know a lot of different stuff happening in all different sectors of the crypto space. If you enjoyed the video and you want to help support the channel, subscribe and hit the bell. You'll be notified every single day I put out a video like this going over Bitcoin, altcoins, and everything going on in the crypto space. If you guys also do me a favor and tap the like that would be greatly greatly appreciated and with that said i will see you all on tomorrow's video have a great day everybody